Hey, Dad. For the past few months, I've thought about how I want to introduce myself to you. First, I started writing a sad poem about why you left and how you left. But honestly, I'm at peace with your absence, so I threw that one poem away. Then I started to write you a funny poem. But to be completely honest, I still can't laugh about it. I'm not sure I ever will. It's been hard to find lightness when you haven't been here yet. That feels so heavy. So I thought about what it would be like to talk to you. And I like to think of this as a way of me connecting or us connecting to each other. This is going to get pretty vulnerable, but what are dads for? I've always wondered what we would talk about. Would you give me a nickname? Will we talk mostly English, Spanish, or Spanglish? Are you a creative? Do you sing? Do you write? Do you paint? And do I get my love of words from you? I've asked God these questions. Sometimes I'm kind of scared to know the answers. You need to hear me. I deserve to be heard. I often think about how I stand in the sun and I simply just allow light in. I have a really big heart for better or for worse. And because of this, I've had to work really hard on setting boundaries. I often choose to see the best in people. I overthink a lot. I have all these thoughts in my head. Sometimes they go like, do people care? Am I loved? And overall, whether I'm enough. Some would say that this is your fault, but I don't think so. Sure, if you would have been here, maybe I would have been different, or maybe not. It's something I grapple with. So I write this letter to let you know that I'm, I'm here, and I often think about you. My therapist, she often says this thing that kind of annoys me. She tells me to hold people in the light. Uh, she often says this to me if I feel hurt or if I'm having any kind of difficult time with a relationship in my life. And what she means by holding someone in the light is to offer them as much grace and love as we deserve, I deserve. And Dad, I think you deserve to be held in the light. Thank you. Thank you.